Hello, everyone. Welcome to 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program. Over the next month, I'm going to take a deep dive into the role of human resources in fully operationalizing a best practices compliance program. Each day, I will pick up one topic with three key takeaways, which you can utilize to improve, enhance, or upgrade your compliance program. This series of 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. The Exit Interview. Yesterday, I talked about employment separation issues, and today I want to specifically focus on the exit interview because the exit interview can be a further mechanism to fully operationalize compliance. This type of interview is used when someone <clears throat> voluntarily departs a company as opposed to a layoff or a reduction in force exercise. Typically, departing employees are willing, are more willing to share about their experience, concerns, and issues which led to their departure. When conducted with care, an exit interview can be a very useful tool in two important areas. Number one, to increase employee engagement to reveal what may not be working in your organization. This speaks directly to operationalizing compliance through HR. Exit interviews can also provide insight into what employees are thinking, reveal problems in an organization, and shed light on the competitive landscape. There are six goals in a exit interview, and they must emphasize both tactics and techniques. Finally, including a continuing conversation with separated employees. So what are these? And they come from the Harvard Business Review article entitled Making Exit Interviews Count, and I've adapted it for the compliance professional. Number one, uncover issues. Organizations that conduct exit interviews almost always pursue this goal, but often too narrowly focus on salary and benefits. The problem with this approach is that salary concerns are not usually what drives employees to seek employment elsewhere. It is almost always something else. One leader from a food and beverage company told us that the exit inter- in the exit interview process that informs a company's succession planning and talent management process. Two, understand employees' perceptions of the work itself. The person conducting the exit interview should understand the employee and departing employees' job design, work conditions, culture, and peers. By understanding and questioning the employees on this information, the exit interview can help managers improve employee motivation, efficiency, coordination, and effectiveness. And this is certainly true from the compliance perspective. Three, gain insight into management's or manager's leadership style and effectiveness. A leadership style is an important reason many employees depart for greener pastures. By inquiring into and understanding this dynamic, an organization can begin to reinforce positive managers and identify toxic ones. Four, learn about benchmarks at competing organizations. While salaries and compensation are usually not the driver of departure, they can certainly play a role. You should use the exit interview to do some benchmarking. You can use the exit interview to see how competitive your company is against its employers, and this is certainly something that concerns employees, and it also, from the compliance perspective, you can make this inquiry. Next, foster innovative innovation by soliciting ideas for improving the organization. This is absolutely critical from the compliance perspective. It should go beyond the employee's immediate experience to cover broader issues such as company strategy, compliance strategy, marketing operations, and the structure of the company to help facilitate the compliance perspective. Here you can think about how you would improve your compliance program, but you can ask it in a series of open-ended questions. And finally, number six, and I really like this one because it really speaks to multiple issues that every company has and certainly every compliance professional has, which is create lifelong advocates for your organization. This is perhaps the most innovative yet in many ways most basic issue. It's to treat departing employees with dignity, respect, and gratitude. Such treatment at departure may well encourage departing employees to recommend their former companies to potential employees and to use and recommend the company's products and services and to create alliances between former employees and new employers. You want a departing employee to leave as an ambassador and a customer of your organization. From the compliance perspective, I don't think anything could potentially be more important because this gives you the opportunity to create and utilize 
a compliance ambassador outside of your organization. This could be incredibly important in terms of if something pops up later and the regulators come knocking, you've got additional resources you could bring to bear. Also in the area of reputation, it can certainly be important. So what are today's three key takeaways? Number one, the exit interview is an excellent opportunity to obtain information to inform your compliance program. You should ask some detailed questions about what works, what doesn't work, what the employee might like to see, and more importantly, how can you more fully operationalize your compliance program? This may be one of the very few opportunities you have to sit down one-on-one with an employee really in an unfiltered environment where they feel like they may not have anything to lose by actually coming across and telling the truth. So you should take this opportunity to do number two, use the exit interview to create compliance advocates from departing employees. Once again, in today's highly mobilized social media world, any issue can be amplified almost immediately. If you have an ambassador, if you have compliance ambassadors, you have former employees who can come to your defense, that could be actually a very powerful tool for you and allow you to have another avenue to communicate, not with simply those on social media, but your other stakeholders, third parties, customers, your local communities, certainly your board of directors, and shareholders. Also, if the regulators ever come knocking, it could become critical. And finally, number three, use the exit interview for probing and insightful questions around compliance. This is going to take some thought, so you need to be ready looking at not only the employee's role, but where were they? What was the structure of the business unit they were in? Who was their immediate supervisor? Who was their supervisor two levels up? What were the levels of amounts of and quality of compliance communications? All of these issues, I think, can be fleshed out, but you have to be ready and willing and able to have these very frank discussions going forward. This is something that many compliance practitioners may be thinking about, but perhaps HR professionals are not thinking about, and you may need to help guide them. So prepare a list of questions, but prepare a detailed list of questions based upon the individual employee leaving and what their role was within the organization and not just generic questions which you toss over to your HR professional whenever you get around to it. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the role of HR in a best practices and fully operationalized compliance program on 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program. 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. Thanks so much for listening. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.